Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Also, I have fixed my website link. So if you want to book a reading, the link below the video in the description box will take you right to my booking site. And I do have some discounts I'm running. All right, you guys, so let's get into your reading. Um, we're gonna take another look at October, see what's going on. This is gonna be a love reading. So keep in mind that some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, okay? First card out is starting with addiction, codependency, obsession, possession, controlling. Someone has a block. There is a restraint, okay? Oh, weird. I just looked at this and I just heard Stevie Nicks song, Stop Dragging My Heart Around. Okay, so someone here, probably you, feels like someone that you um, have a some type of a relationship with Virgo. You feel like your heart's being drug around by this person. Okay, that's the first message they're telling me. Now let's get into this. Maybe you're um, experiencing some codependency, um, obsessed with a situation involving someone that you're with. Um, could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be someone that you have a romantic relationship with. You're fighting, um, they're just telling me now, Virgo, you're fighting to get the love or uh, the attention or something from someone who is giving their love, time, and attention to an addiction that they have. So whether that's gambling, alcohol, uh, anything that they're obsessing over, you feel like you're I feel like you you're trying to restrain yourself but there's a block or this person oh yeah there's this someone's got an addiction all right let's see what else is going on interesting way okay you do have a, a date so hey <laughs> meeting someone new dating getting back out there planning and setting a date okay all right just gave them two cards heartbroken feeling hurt sad okay Feel like i know where this is going oh and the grim reaper a relationship being over no second chances growing and transforming your life so, so there, I, I'm, I'm hearing there's a virgo here that's like i gotta stop with this relationship and i just i'm heartbroken and rushing right into planning a date with someone or meeting somebody new okay um virgo i feel like Something here that you're you're dealing with is where you feel like you're not loved or you're not cared for, not appreciated, um, feeling neglected or undervalued, and wanting to meet someone else who can, I want to say, give you what you feel like is missing in some in some kind of a relationship. You know what I mean? Like it just gives me a sense that you're. You're tired of fighting the addiction, like are competing. You might feel like a third wheel or um, kind of like, you know, when they want to say like a third party, like a mistress or a sidekick. No, not sidekick, a side chick or a side guy. Okay. You know, it, it feels like looking like you want to meet someone who's going to be available to you, but you're also heartbroken at the same time. So some of you are ending a relationship here in October and maybe not taking some time out to heal and possibly just rushing to get right back out of there now roles can be reversed this could be another person the other the other person all right so but you'll have to make that call so let's get into this and see what's going on what other messages does virgo need to have here in regards to this okay so you could have a connection with a fire sign leo sagittarius or aries but this is making a bold move here seriously it's being very feisty and confident self-assured like it's it's a power move you're making a power move here i feel like virgo you're ending something or you've ended something and you just you don't want to go back to something here with someone yeah look at this you've got the nine of wands so you are you're a wounded warrior from some type of a relationship okay and you're tired of being hurt <laughs> Or feel like I, I feel like you're tired like the way you've been feeling it's too much putting up some boundaries that's for sure you got some serious boundaries up here and you're being very persistent okay six of cups here some of you might have kids <clears throat> that's making this 
that's part of this decision that you're making, maybe so that the children don't suffer. Um, but you're also, I feel like, protecting your happiness, protecting your heart, okay? You might have a date with someone from your past, like that you went to school with, or someone from your childhood. I want to say more so. Someone from your childhood that uh, is, could be reaching out to you uh, to go on a date. Maybe you told this person no before, but it, I feel like perhaps you're saying yes now to someone here. You're also being very persistent about not reconciling, okay? Not going back to the past. You're not staying stuck in the past either. Okay, yeah. So you're coming out very stable is how I feel. Now, I'm not saying that the, somebody else made you do it <laughs> um, in the sense where it's somebody else's entire fault. I feel like it's a, just a decision that you're making on your own. You're protecting yourself here in October. Tell Virgo more about this person that they're going to have this date with. Okay. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like whoever this person is, it shows up. It could be an earth sign, also a fire sign. But I feel like this person is not in any rush, rush into anything. Oh, right, and then this shows up. <laughs> um, there's definitely an attraction there, though, Virgo. Physical attraction, no doubt. Yes, physical attraction. But I feel like they're not going to push you or push it do you know what i mean like they're gonna take their time so maybe you have a conversation with this person and tell them you're just recently out of a relationship or you're still you're not you're, your heart's still broken you're willing to meet them you're willing to connect you're willing to go on a date but you're not going to rush into anything and i feel like they respect that you know um let me see what else can you know about them Okay, this could be someone you also have communication with long distance or there's travel involved uh, to see this person or to connect with them. Let's see what else? Mm -hmm. mm. All right, I like it. Six of Pentacles. So it's a very giving energy. Lots of reciprocity. So, I mean, Virgo, look. If uh, look, I guess if you're, you're heartbroken still, I mean, I guess it can't hurt to, to go out and have a drink or dinner with someone, you know, and I feel like maybe you're telling yourself, listen, I can't just stay in this grief for too long or forever. Let me just get out there and just start enjoying my life as best as I can. I feel like you can do two things simultaneously. You can still grieve a loss and you can also enjoy your life, you know. Um, I think it's maybe... <laughs> You might be a little hesitant because you just don't want to step back into the same situation. So maybe you're being a little more cautious here. All right. Tell me a little bit about this person that you were dealing with with this addiction thing. Okay. Fire energy. So uh, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Aries, Leo, or Sag. All right. This person, um, yeah, emotionally unavailable. Emotionally unavailable. Now, does that mean... That can mean there's a lot of reasons for that. I feel like um, no matter who loves this person, they just, you know, arms folded. They're always trying to self-soothe, but they pretty much block the block. No matter who gets involved with this person, I do feel like they're trying to get over their addiction, though. And that might come as a surprise to you. Um, I feel like they're around people that kind of influence them to indulge. Um, but it looks like they are they are being bold, taking a bold step and just saying no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is huge. Um, okay, good for them. Good for them. Uh, let me see. The full energy. Do you have Aquarius there? So uh, taking a big risk here. I feel like this person, they're just telling me is um, working on getting clean from something. starting over um starting baby steps baby steps the fool with the o always reminds me of like you know the, the beginning the omega i think it is the, there's just beginning baby steps here for this person okay let me see Whew. all right all right the lovers yeah they're definitely making this decision on their own but you know what part of it part of the reason is i feel like it has to do with you and if it's if it's 
even if you are to if this person were to try to come back to you and you were like no i'm moving on or you're not ready for that um it's they want there's an opening up here. There's a taking a risk of being open and vulnerable. Maybe admitting that they have this problem. Whatever it might be. Like I said. Um, some type of an addiction. You're, and Virgo, you might be dealing with some codependency issues yourself. Okay? Trying to heal from that as well. Uh, let me see. Why is this person like... I mean, yeah, the lovers is there. But why? Why is this person... What else can you tell Virgo about this person? Ooh. The Hierophant and the Moon. The first thing I was getting is um, something that you don't know, Virgo. Maybe a little secret or something that they're hiding is that um, okay, they're just saying um, oh, What's that singer's name? She's passed away. I'm going to rehab. <laughs> Somebody's going to rehab? Mmm. Or this, the, whatever their addiction is, it's a, it's affecting like their work or um, anything, anything in their life that they have to conform to and follow the rules. They might, have, maybe they went back to church or they've gone in, like in the church basement, going to meetings or something. It's kind of hidden, maybe at night. There's something here where, um, and they're falling in line, falling in line, um, you know, like, I don't know if it's like, so the Hierophant, like, so they're giving me like military, possible hospital, um, some type of corporation or some type of um, ink type of thing or uh, some community where there's rules and regulations is having an effect on this person and it's having emotional deep influence emotional deep emotional influence wow there's a tower ego totally being like blasted okay yeah mm, strength here courage i feel like um you know let me just say that, like i do and so i'm not going to go into long detail about this person on their own i do feel like this person does want to make a love connection they prefer to make it with you but if you're not going to be available for that um they still want to have that in their life um and i feel like they're they're inspired due to some kind of hit to the noggin in regards to like almost a wake-up call like things kind of falling apart for them you know because when that tower energy comes in it's like everything's destroyed a, a sense of chaos and these are all major arcana okay so this is all profound for for this person taurus pisces scorpio leo a very profound thing in october that's happening to this person Okay, and having the courage to get through all of this. I feel like this person comes to this place where like, oh my gosh, I really need to deal, deal with myself. Okay, anyway, let's move on and see. How do they feel about you, Virgo? Because like the new person, I, like I don't feel a strong uh, connection to this new person because either you haven't met yet or um, spirit doesn't want you to focus all your energy on that new person. The, the new date is just for you to kind of not be stuck. It's for you to just go out and have a good time. Um, and whatever that means. Even just go see a movie or walk through the park with someone and make a friend. You know, that kind of energy. I, I feel like you're going through something pretty profound. And I, I feel like you're not really ready to just dive right in with somebody else, especially if you're dealing with some codependency issues or recovering from someone else's addiction. You know, it's funny because when someone has an addiction and they're in a deep partnership with another person, that other person feels the same effects of that addiction without indulging in the, the substance or whatever it is. So it's like co-addicted. So I feel like you're also recovering. Okay. Okay. What else? What else, Virgo? Let's see. Um, 
let's see what they just have to say. I'm not going to ask anything. Okay, so they want you to know, Virgo, um, at some point, I feel like you're going to make a decision to fully move on here. Fully, like you're going to you're going to be able to break free and start over. All right, that's what the world is. This is a brand new start here. Um, this is like completing the, the goal. The soul contract has been finished. Uh, lesson learned. You completed something here. And I feel like regardless of what happens, the outcome, like if, if this person and you, you know, you, you both heal separately and then you guys come back together and work things out and whatever, that could happen. But I feel like the, the biggest message here for you right now is to take care like of yourself, like self-care. Yes. So you can have your joy and your happiness and feel a sense of freedom. And this feels like child, like childlike happiness, you know? You know that child, like giggly? There's giving, I hear somebody giggling, like a child's giggle. You know, I know you're an adult. <laughs> and you don't want to do that Nicole Kessinger giggle, because that's weird. But this is, I, you know, got you guys know, like with my crime stuff, I'm telling you, I follow all that. But yeah, here you go. You got all that healing energy here. And getting your foundation firm. Virgo, I feel like you really want a healthy relationship and I feel like your message here is to get healthy first yes to get healthy first you got to be healthy in order to attract healthy um, if you're not healthy you're just not going to be able to determine who's healthy or not if you're not healthy um, so this feels like a focusing on yourself energy this wheel of fortune you know when you're doing that and you continue to do that don't put your life on hold Virgo is what I'm hearing they're saying don't put your life on hold as you're healing because it's a lifelong lesson and learning um, I don't feel like you need to dive deep into anything with anyone but I feel like it's okay to go out and have a good time if you want to accept an offer to go out with someone um, and letting somebody know like I feel like you will hear just like, yeah, I'm not in a rush. I'm still recovering from a past relationship. But, you know, uh, what was that mean? Um, I'm not looking to date, but we could go eat, though. <laughs> it's kind of like that. I'm not looking to date. I'm not looking to get into anything serious, but we could go eat, though. So I feel like that's all right. <laughs> and I feel like whomever this other newish person is, um, they'll be all right with that. Because I don't see them... I see them taking their time and they're certainly if like if you put it out there just like that um, I don't feel like they're just gonna I feel like I feel like they're gonna view you as being very stable for being um, truthful and maybe honest and I, I do feel Virgo you want to be single at this time like mate, you're enjoy this gives me vibes that you're enjoying your single life Nothing wrong with that, Virgo. Uh, I think the single life is a wonderful thing. You know, <laughs> you 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 get the whole <clears throat> excuse me, get the whole bed to yourself, right? You can watch whatever shows. You don't have to consider it. It's a little selfish, but you know, uh, maybe that's something you need, and maybe you need to have that in your life at this time. So you know, not taking anything seriously. I feel. Look at that. Focusing on your goals, uh, what you can achieve, your potential the tangible things in your life your your health your wealth your relationships putting yourself looking at your value and putting yourself on the pedestal really really important and it's not it's not in a selfish way where you're trying to hurt somebody else it's just in a negative self selfish way it's like man i need to start taking care of myself here and what i need I, so because you, it looks like you maybe have been competing with this person, uh, fighting against their addiction, right? The addiction is always going to win. Whatever this person is indulging in that they're addicted to, you cannot compete with that. They're, that addiction is always going to win. You're always going to be the mistress or the side whatever, or, or you know, the, the go-to guy that this person always goes to when they're having problems. Um, but nothing more than that. You can't compete with that. So you, I feel like either you already know that or you're coming to terms with that and you're ready to, you know, let it go. 
and deal with yourself. Look at that. Loving yourself as well. Uh, romanticiz romanticizing yourself even. Um, and also putting yourself in a position. Look, Virgo, the more you start valuing yourself and taking good, 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 good care of yourself. Look what happens. You attract love. No need to go chasing it. It's like the, it's like, um, you know, if you want to attract butterflies, you need to build a butterfly garden. You don't need to go out with a, a net and go catch them all. You don't got to catch them all. You just attract, just attract them. Build that. You are, you are the butterfly garden or whatever you want to build there. Just build yourself and, and you will attract. I feel like that's the message. I already see someone uh, wanting to date you or at least being interested. So that's positive, okay? I feel like take all the time you need, do whatever you need to do for yourself, right? That's what I'm hearing. Let's see what your messages of love are here. And yeah, whoever this person is that you, um, maybe you love them, You maybe you love them a lot and you want them to be well. Um, I feel like I feel like with this relationship being over, perhaps this person's actually going to self-reflect uh, or do something about their their issues. I, I do feel like if you would have them back, um, that's what they want. But I don't know if you're ready for that, to be honest. I know this person doesn't want to be alone. I know they don't want to be without anybody. Um, so hopefully they will reach out to people who have a positive influence on them that help them deal with their addiction, whatever their issues are, and not just, you know, be a serial dater. But, you know, some people choose to do what they choose to do. Ooh, twin flame. This makes a lot of sense. The struggle with the twin flame. It says divine counterpart connection, and perhaps it is divine, or at least was. Maybe you're still with the person, but divine in some way. I mean, I feel like everybody comes into our lives for a reason. Um, and so there was definitely a lesson here for two people. It's not just you. Okay, but you've got weight. Timing's not quite right. So I kind of feel like if you haven't gotten my uh, Twin Flame ebook, definitely check it out. The link is, I think it's at my link tree. But listen, Virgo, um, this, this twin flame connection with this person was not meant to, it wasn't, the timing wasn't right for you and this person. And I, I, I do believe what I was going to say about the twin flame ebook. I do believe that, um, we are sometimes introduced to our twin flame before we're ready and before they're ready. And sometimes we get involved with them before we've both, uh, two people or one person has ascended and it, it kind of feels like, you know, Kind of feels like you maybe get mad at spirit like well if that's the case why why introduce me to this person if we weren't ready to be together or they weren't ready or i wasn't ready well it's because there's a lesson here that needs to be learned because there's healing happening here for you now i'm not saying that this person's addiction like i'm not saying you were put in a bad situation so you could learn a lesson that you never experienced before i feel like you come from uh relationships in your past that you dealt with their addictions or, or maybe even your own I, I don't feel like this person um for the majority of you this is your first time at the rodeo with someone who has an addiction i feel like this this has happened to you before um and perhaps you connected with this person and went through the whole thing again and i feel like uh this is the right person that you're supposed to be with but you needed to heal and you weren't fully healed yet when they when you and they came together do you understand so what does that mean yes when we're not healed we will tend to repeat the relationship to the same relationships again when we haven't fully healed do you know so i do get a sense that yes this is the person but the timing wasn't right you needed here to see these red flags not only within them but within yourself i mean if you were healthy you would have seen the addiction red flags from the get-go and would have made a healthy secure decision not to get involved with them but something about them has triggered something from your past that was unfinished that's 
the biggest message that I'm getting with this relationship, okay? And I feel like it's the same for them. Okay? This rejection is divine protection. This is beautiful. I mean, this is a... I'm not going to make a judgment what this reading is. I just feel like it's very beautiful because it's healing. Look at that. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Yes, Virgo, you have been... This is not your first time at the circus. No, it's not. Not not in this type of relationship. You've dealt with this before. And we often, right, tend to... Um, we attract all people, okay? But we tend to hold on to what's familiar to us, even if what's familiar is negative. We will hold on to that because we want to try to resolve our past issues through the new person who has a similar issue as the past person. And, and you experiencing this, something was not resolved. I feel like maybe you were trying to solve it with this person, but that was the lesson. That was the lesson. So this time apart is going to bring clarity, okay? Maybe this reading is going to bring clarity. So in the meantime, right, get your lessons, but live your life. I mean, how much time we got left here on this earth? Take your lessons, learn from them, keep them in the back of your mind, get yourself in a secure place, go out and enjoy your life. You're not obligated to do anything you don't want to do. If you're not ready, you're not ready. If you are ready and you want to get involved with someone new, then do it. Go for it. If, if it's someone that you feel like, okay, uh, I see a lot of green flags here. I mean, I think everybody comes with, with maybe tiny red flags. Anybody comes with big red flags and it's like, whoa, that's screaming in your face. Tiny red flags. The older you get, everybody's got tiny red flags. All right, let's see what else you got here. All right, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, significant to you or will be in October. Not only yourself, could be yourself, but somebody else. Also an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe that's you and the person you were dealing with. Okay, hmm. Someone was, somebody might have been trying to take your money so to feed their addiction. Not all of you, but that might have happened to you. Um, that sucks. All right, honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Hmm, maybe you met someone at a wedding. Um, or you could. But I do feel like, you know, the person you, the addiction you were dealing with. Um, you know what, Virgo, that honeymoon phase, not the actual honeymoon after you've been together for like a long time. This honeymoon phase is, is, This gives me um, like rose colored glasses. Uh, I don't know what that means. Somebody had rose colored glasses on. Yeah, right? A love spell, feeling bewitched. Wow, All right. maybe felt like somebody put a spell on you. Um, you know, and I, I think that the person, I think it's the person that's dealing with the addiction. Um, I feel like people are dealing with addictions or in, in indulging in their addictions do have a certain way about them that they can cast. <clears throat> I want to say not, uh, I don't think you're dealing with a witch or a warlock, but they can cast some kind of bewitching thing over you um, or over others um, because People with addictions want to be loved. They want to be appreciated. They're they're um, indulging in their addiction because it's a way of coping with some kind of rejection or trauma. And um, I, I don't know. I don't want to go too deep in that. But I do feel like whoever you were dealing with, maybe you felt like, oh, man, this person put a spell on me. Had me feeling like I was so special, but you know that comes with the territory when you're dealing with people with addictions. They're they're really really good at um, making you feel really really good uh, in the beginning. I feel so. I feel like maybe you were dealing with that, or you dealt with that. Okay, baby, you come knocking on my front door. Same old line you used to use before. Okay, somebody's got that song. 
that song is resonating for somebody. Why is my, my, car, my thing is really dark here. Should I put the light on? Oh, isn't that better? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It wasn't like fully dark. It's just getting dark. Okay, so you've got the 10 of pentacles here. So your message is seeking financial security for yourself and your family right now, okay? Um, thinking about retirement or maybe leaving an inheritance, uh, working on the financial aspects for later, later in life or receiving an inheritance um, and seeking peace and contentment in your life, honoring your family and your traditions, having pride in your, your, your family or your offspring, passing on knowledge to others. And another 10. So look, this is good. I mean, I feel like the outcome for you is going to be amazing. You have a happy marriage in your future, a happily ever after situation, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children is coming or is um, becoming better. Um, raising, you may be raising children wisely and successfully because there's a health energy. Um, and having people in your life that you can trust. So this is beautiful. You've got the two 10s. All right, and look, the Eight of Cups. This is the need to move on, Virgo. Uh, and taking your little dog, too. Um, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing on an, a spiritual quest. Choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, and maybe even leaving home. All right, Virgo, so I feel like you got a lot going for you. You're really taking some, uh, making some chess moves here, it seems like. You're making some chess moves in your life. And I, I think that's really good because I think like these are big chess moves, not little ones. These are um, something you need to do for yourself to bring about happiness. Like I said, how much time you got here left on the earth, right? How much time you got left? You want to enjoy your life. Look, Ten of Cups again. I'm telling you, good things are coming for you, Virgo. You just... Try to stay positive and just in the moment just try to be positive in the moment you don't have to worry about the future that's what i'm here for yeah you don't have to worry about the future things are going to work out everything does resolve you just gotta trust the process and have faith right i feel like that's your message now listen because we're virgos here we want to look at our money let's look at our money career and finances let's take a look at that because i know my virgos they got business yeah, money on their mind, mind on their money. Wait, who sang that? God, I hope it wasn't P. Diddy. I can't remember. I mean, things could be worse, Virgo. You could be P. Diddy. Okay, I'm just, let me stop. Hold on. Hold on a sec. All right, what do we got? Oh, I love it. Shamrock. Good luck. Your fortune is improving, and you will get a lucky break soon, Virgo. Collect nuggets of wisdom. You will need them in the future. So yeah, you you got a lucky streak coming up for you. Good things are going to happen once you, I feel like, start trudging a new path in your life. If you haven't already. If you're already on that path, kudos to you. Keep growing. Keep improving. All right, you also have expression. Oh, this is writing. You need to you need work that lets you express your creator, creative self, Virgo. You could do well at writing, blogging, or career and communication. Holla. Yeah, Virgo. So maybe that's something you already do, or you might be thinking about doing, maybe writing a book. You, you got to get it out. It, writing is very... I always feel like when you're writing, and I just want to say this in a more therapeutic sense, like when you start writing, an interesting thing happens because you could sit down with a pen and... and a paper or maybe on your computer or something and you're like I don't even know where to start just start start with the first sentence um, I saw a dog today <laughs> or tell the weather just start writing it could be about anything and keep writing and you're gonna find that the more you keep on writing eventually you're gonna start touching on some personal things in your life and the more you keep writing what happens is you start unlocking the subconscious Right? The subconscious is what drives us. It's like the undercurrent that we can't see in the ocean that's more powerful than the waves on the top of the water. The undercurrent is the driving force, okay, in, in your actions, your 
everything, your choices and everything you do. That's the place, the undercurrent that you need to get in touch with. And I feel like writing not only can help you and unlock that and help you realize things about yourself, um, but also if you want to share that, I know most Virgos don't, they're private, but if you want to share that, you could actually help other people as well. Or maybe you want to write some memoirs or uh, some stories or a book. Maybe you're going to do some, maybe write some scripts or something for film. It could be something you like to do, something blogging um, or doing some type of career in communication. You could start a YouTube channel or um, anything, anywhere, any kind of platform. Um, I feel like it's, it's something to do with very creative energy. Okay, very creative energy. All right, you also have cultivation. You are in the growing phase right now, and you must continue to water the seeds you have planted in order to reap the rewards. Beautiful, Virgo. You got to plant seeds every day, and then you get to water the seed every day. Even it's just a little bit. All right, now you've got ending. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. Okay. Maybe you're going to go work for yourself. Thinking about retirement, Virgo, if you're getting to that place in your life, maybe it's time to start working for yourself uh, or doing something on the side, a little side hustle for yourself. If you're not at that place in life where you're going to retire, you may decide, you know what, I'm going to just branch out on my own and see what I can do here. All right, and timing. It's all in the timing right now. That's it, Virgo. Pull another card to see if you need to do it now. Wait a while or make a difference. Yes, ma'am. Or make a different decision. All right, you have make it work. You have all the tools you need, all the tools you need to succeed, but you have to put in the effort. So I feel like um, let's do it now. Don't wait. Don't wait. When the fire's hot, you need to start cooking. The fire's hot now, especially. I feel like you're on your own here, so now it's it's time to start reconnecting with yourself. And if you've been on your own for a while and just kind of hemming and hawing and you're not knowing what you want to do or where you want to go, um, maybe it's time to start. Time to start now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to get into the charms and see what shows up here. Okay, I'm going to move these up so you guys can see them. All right, so significant to you, Aries, Taurus, and a double Leo. Now, that could be someone, another person, also a Virgo. You could be a Virgo, Leo, Virgo, Cusp. Um, these could be people who are significant to you, or they it could just be somewhere in your chart. Okay, so September 1st, huge. September 5th, August 24th. Okay, August 25th, September 8th, calling out some, some September, August, September birthdays here, uh, August 31st, all right, so years, years or ages, 77, 68, 57, 31, 55, holla. 43, 87, 84, 46, 24, 25, 62, 36, right? So these could be the year you're born, like 1962, or your age is 62. Um, keep that in mind. All right, let's see. What kind of name? So significant months for you next year 2025 well now october is going to be a significant month for you okay this month very profound and february of next year 2025 will be a very significant month so when i say significant months what i mean is these are months that are going to have a profound effect on your finances um and your career profound effect on your emotional uh, uh, yeah, on your emotions, things will make you very, very happy. 
you know, like, so what I mean by like, oh, you know, the feeling of like a new baby that's being welcomed, uh, a proposal, um, things that make us emotionally happy, okay, even with the new job or an investment or receiving some new income, okay, um, uh, you're going to see something that relates to fitness um, February next year it will be very profound or your health will be like, these are all positive things. Okay, even some new things that you will learn, even that coming out of that fog by February next year, where there's this psychic, like extreme clarity comes to you. Okay, <sighs> give me a sec. Oh, we also have September 13th. I didn't even see that. All right, some of you are learning the, the towel, the Dow, the towel. I love the, the, the Dow. I read that all the time. I get it. Nobody can tell me. I totally get it. Um, okay. Somebody's working on their PC. All right, see if I can get some names here. Mm. All right, Barbara. Winona. Cassandra, I'm hearing. Initial K, we have a B, we have a W. Initial P, we have initial C. I'm picking up Peter and Pauline, or Paula. His initial H. He, Heath, okay, Heath. Elizabeth, Ellen, Eddie. My son has the radio up so loud. We have a Q. We have a Y. Yolanda. Somebody's got two E's in their name. Maybe like Queen. Um, somebody likes the Beatles, I'm hearing. I was listening to the Beatles. I'm hearing Tammy. Aaron. Alan, Adam, okay, <laughs> Aggie, Aggie, I just heard Aggie, like A-G-G-Y, or A-G-G-I-E, Aggie, Addie, oh my gosh, Allie, they're giving me so many A's right now, um, th Amanda, did I say that, I can't remember, oh my gosh, they're throwing all these A's at me, Angela and Marie. Oh my goodness. And they're females. What's going on? Is there any guys here? Well, I said Adam. Abe? Like Abe Lincoln? Abe? <laughs> Arnold? Hey, Arnold! I say. Any more spirit? Okay, they're not giving me any more A's. Okay, big time A vibes. Someone's name starts with an A, first name, last name. Okay, let's move on to your charms. That's crazy. Oh, I forgot your Chinese signs. Let's get them in. All right, yours or the person you're dealing with, or it could be somebody new. Take what resonates. All right, you've got the year of the ox. If you don't know your Chinese sign, Google it. Look it up. Year of the rooster. Year of the horse. And if I don't call your Chinese sign, just remember, doesn't mean it's not your reading, okay? Little caveat, year of the pig. Did I say Edward or Eddie? I'm hearing that again. Year of the rat. Year of the snake. Year of the monkey. I'm a monkey. Do, 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 do. Year of the rabbit, okay. Fantastic. Don't forget, you guys, if you wanna become a member of my channel, or upgrade your loyalty membership, become a VIP member. You'll get bonus content where I upload extra videos that how your person feels, their current feelings and thoughts. So if you're interested to, to get that, uh, go ahead and click on the join button. Don't pick the loyalty membership. That is just so you can get the, the perks of like a shout out and you get the um, 
badges and cool emojis and stuff but if you pick the vip you get all that stuff and i put it it's all in the trailer in the beginning of the video and you also get the extra bonus content okay so virgo you're starting with a cleaver okay you have a cleaver so now either somebody is a butcher or you're at a butcher or you're at or you're like this is not coming in maybe you're at the butcher's you like to get your meat cut fresh could be i can't get it to show so or just put it there okay there's a connection to like a like a blade like a butcher's is that butcher's knife right something here to do with meat maybe you're on a carnivore diet you're cutting meat you could be just cutting meat right now i feel like a lot of virgos like if, if you eat meat you like to go and get your meat like right at the the butcher you know, like you don't want to buy it frozen you're like nope cut that meat right here in front of my face it could be seafood anything some kind of connection to that you also have a lotus flower so and even i was talking about the towel um some kind of connection to a lotus flower here for someone maybe you have a tattoo of that or you just have them somewhere very beautiful someone might have like a wax candle that's in the shape of a lotus flower this is a very deep spiritual connection to the lotus flower it's very yeah it's very spiritual some of you might be getting into some spiritual studies or just really engaging i feel very much it's connected to the the tao i'm not sure if i say that right the tao if, if you haven't read it like if you've read the tao and you're like i totally understand that leave me a comment if if you haven't you should because i feel like it's it's really really good to to learn it and put it into practice all right if you're doing that awesome you also have a mermaid okay so i'm picking up some pisces energy here with this mermaid there might be a female pisces a feminine pisces that you have a connection with here in this reading and she's holding like seashells so um yeah connection to our um you could have Pisces in your chart as well. But there's something here about a feminine Pisces connection. Now, it could be a masculine that has more feminine traits. That does happen. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's just strictly only feminine. Okay. Maybe you are embracing your feminine side as well. And you also have a pearl, a pink pearl whale's tail. It's pink pearl. So, okay, that's weird. They just told me um, pink soap. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with a whale's tail, but they're saying pink soap. Iridescent. This is um, this is beautiful, actually. Let me see if I can... Do you see the, the pink pearl? Something about pink pearl and uh, a tail, but then I'm also picking up pink pearly soap or maybe... Um, liquid soap of some sort that smells beautiful I don't know there's something here about um, beautification that's very significant even if you're a masculine this, there's everybody we all use beauty products right and I know there's some guys who are like I don't use beauty products well okay you, you, you use men's products I don't know what to say like whatever whatever you're doing to beautify yourself somebody's somebody's very into that maybe sell them or you, or you have some kind of connection to beauty products or cosmetics or something like that you, you do something with them or you're just like a big fan of it and you maybe you're t uh, not taste testing my god gross you're trying stuff out and also i'm hearing um organic organic beauty products significant for someone in someone's life okay i'm i'm leaving that's it that's that's it there's your message i hope you enjoy that a uh, personal reading link again below this video right down there in the description box so go check that out thanks everybody for being here i haven't given shout outs in a while so I'll make sure i do that tomorrow i'll dedicate uh half the reading to shout outs for everyone that has joined thank you for becoming a member of the channel um i really need to get your videos up a bit more i'm sorry i've just been so crazy busy during the week uh during the day but i will I'll definitely be on that, okay? I don't want to disappoint. So, um, yeah, shout-outs tomorrow. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. I will see you all back here tomorrow. I just right. can't Bye. let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one.
No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us 